There's one question. I'm having problems to persuade newcomers to evolve from having their Bitcoin in exchanges to the Bitbox O2. What would you recommend to say to these people? Maybe I can start and Douglas can chime in afterwards. So true. Um, we actually have a blog post on the typical stages of how you get into crypto because most people buy um, crypto on exchange. Of course, the, the most convenient thing is to just use their wallet and leave it there. Um, we don't recommend that. Otherwise, we wouldn't have founded a hardware wallet company. The main issues I see there and what I would tell to people, it might be a bit off-putting sometimes, but it also makes them question what crypto really is. Because if you have Bitcoin or other cryptocurrency, it's it's a better asset. You hold it yourself. It's yours, right? You don't need to ask anyone anything for permission to do whatever you want with it. And if you have it on an exchange, it's not really yours. You don't own your Bitcoin. The exchange just has like an IOU against you. And if you ask nicely, they might send it to you in the future. They probably will, unless they have been hacked, which happens all the time. Or like Binance, they just added like a ton of additional KYC requirements. So you need to upload the passport and all that stuff. Otherwise you don't, uh, or you aren't not able to withdraw your coins. So they're not yet really yours. And you also can't really use it to, to do like everyday payments because usually, um, exchanges then uh, subtract the fees from the amount and then you're sending the wrong amount and that leads to a lot of follow-up issues with with uh, vendors so for me it's really about holding my own keys holding my own coins it, these are mine i know i have them and i i can help hold them for for decades without asking anyone for me that's the main reason douglas do you have anything else to yeah. add to that uh, I guess different different perspectives or different ways to look at it. Um, you know, Coinbase is in the U.S. is the number one uh, exchange where most of the most of the people are. Um, They're just in the news uh, a couple of days ago, actually, um, about people losing their funds. Like someone lost thirty five thousand, someone lost two hundred thousand, um, and so on and so on. Um, there's thousands of these cases, and. Um, the, the reason for that is uh, not the exchange itself uh, getting hacked. Although, um, if you look at history, there's been billions that have been lost by exchanges getting hacked, billions that have been lost by uh, exchange operators um, deciding to say, hey, I have the keys for these coins, I'm just going to disappear. And they run away and all the customers lose their funds. That happened in Canada, it happened in South Africa this year. Um, and Coinbase, uh, people lost their funds because their personal devices were hacked. Uh, so their mobile phones got hacked. They, uh, something called a sw SIM swipe, uh, where someone basically takes over their phone and then they can log into their Coinbase account and just drain their funds. And Coinbase um, uh, is getting a lot of heat because they say, well, we can't do anything about it. But uh, I think they're getting heat because people just don't understand that gone is gone in cryptocurrency, which is also what makes cryptocurrency really special. It means uh, that it's decentralized. There's no central gatekeeper. Um, but that means if someone gets access, gone is gone. Um, and so on an exchange, even with great, great security, even um, you know, listed on the NASDAQ stock exchange, uh, people are, can lose money. Um, and so that's why, um, you know, that, that's one way to look at it. I would say another way to look at it is, uh, at least from, from what I hear, a lot of people uh, are just kind of scared of holding their own keys. So there's a lot of fear in that. Um, I'd rather trust someone else to do it, even though history is not on their side uh, for that. Um, and so part, part of our job is to try to make it easy. Uh, and so um, we try really hard to make the, like the setup as painless as possible. Um, and so it can take just a, a few minutes to, to get up and running and uh, you're all set. Of course, you know, not, I don't want to say that we're, we're perfect. We have things to improve, and we're happy to hear feedback about what we can improve. But, but that's our goal, and I think it's also the goal of other hard rewards um, to get to that point. Cool. So 
I hope that uh, that question answers that. And I want to stress, we don't want to bash exchanges. They definitely have their role in the space. They're great to get started and buy your coins and do, if you, if you're into trading, do your trading. But I, I just wouldn't leave my life savings on there. I guess it's all about weighing the risks versus convenience.